In 2016, I declared, I am your voice. Today, I add, I am your warrior. I am your justice. And for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. I am your retribution. If Ron DeSantis gets the Republican nomination for the 2024 presidential race, could Donald Trump run on an independent ticket? Well, that is a legal question for which I have an answer. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I'm your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. Given how much Donald Trump simply hates to lose, there's talk that he may just try to run a third party campaign if the GOP nominates someone else for president. Unfortunate for Trump, however, if the former president were to go ahead and take this route, well, it would be a huge struggle for him to take home the win to the White House. Why is that? Well, because of sore loser laws. This per Bloomberg Law. Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas, as well as Arkansas and Alabama, have laws that bar a candidate defeated in a major party primary from running as an independent or on a third party ticket in the general election. That would put Trump at the general election starting gate with a deficit of 91 electoral votes of the 270 required to capture the White House. The sore loser laws in these six states wouldn't preclude Trump from running on a third party ticket, however. These laws simply prevent him from having his name listed as a third party candidate on the ballot. But that doesn't mean voters couldn't still write in his name if they wanted to. So with a big enough campaign push, Trump could possibly get folks to write in his name as a candidate in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, Arkansas, and Alabama. And he may just try because it's clear he is not big on giving up. We want to run against Trump, even though I'm leading every one of these guys. And even though I won the second election, OK, I won it by a lot. You know, when they say when they say Biden won, the smart, the smart people know that, didn't they? Of course, in this Trump on a third party ticket hypothetical, the Dems would likely be in the winner's seat because having Trump on an independent ticket would more than likely split the GOP's vote between him and whoever the Republican nominee would be. Presidential candidates who ran as independents or on a third party ticket after losing a major party primary include former President Theodore Roosevelt, also making an attempt to return to office four years after leaving the White House. In 1912, U.S. Representative John Anderson in 1980 and former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson in 2012. They all lost. Well, if history is any indicator of what the future could hold, Trump would definitely take an L if he was on that third party ticket. And apparently there are some Republicans already out there laying out their game plan to sure that they send him packing. You have said you're considering a 2024 run. Where does that stand? Well, I'm still considering it. I was very disappointed. I have to say that uh, Larry decided not to run. I'm, I'm a fan of his. I'm a Maryland resident. I was born and raised in Baltimore. I thought he was a great governor. Uh, and I do understand the analysis that too many candidates might be a, a way through for Trump. But on the other hand, he, let's just say you only had two other opponents for Trump. And in a given primary, they each got 33 percent. He could still win with 34 uh, percent. I think the focus here has got to be on uh, eliminating Trump from the from the nomination process as early as possible. And I think uh, it's very clear that the mistake candidates made in 2016 wasn't going after each other instead of going after Trump. It's 2020 hindsight, but I think it's the right analysis. When asked whether 45 would split the GOP vote by running on a third party ticket, well, Trump's campaign spokesperson simply stated that Trump would win the GOP nomination which is actually quite interesting because Trump also refused to commit to the RNC pledge of backing whoever the GOP nominates. All said, this is going to be really messy. Kind of like back in 2000, right? When Ralph Nader ran on a third party ticket. Yeah, he was on the ballot in only about 43 states and he ultimately ended up capturing a share of the vote that otherwise could have lifted Al Gore to the presidency. Let's hope that history does not repeat itself although it could be rather entertaining. Then again, those are just my thoughts. You let me know yours in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.